Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to use indents and tabs in Word 2019 documents. I have written a document that has several paragraphs, I want to add the first line indent in each paragraph. A quick way to indent is to use the tab key. This will create a first line indent of half inch. Place the insertion point at the very beginning of the paragraph you want to indent. Press the tab key. The first line of the paragraph will be indented. If you can't see the ruler, select the view tab, then click the checkbox next to the ruler. On the ruler, you should see the first line indent marker move to the right by half inch. In some cases, you may want to have more control over indents. Word provides indent markers that allow you to indent paragraphs to the location you want. The indent markers are located to the left of the horizontal ruler and they provide several indenting options. First line indent marker, adjusts the first line indent. Hanging indent marker, adjusts the hanging indent. Left indent marker, moves both the first line indent and hanging indent markers at the same time. Place the insertion point anywhere in the paragraph you want to indent, or select one or more paragraphs. Click and drag the desired indent marker. If you want to indent multiple lines of text or all lines of a paragraph, you can use the indent commands. The indent commands will adjust the indent by half inch increments. On the home tab, you can see the increase indent and decrease indent buttons. Click the increase indent, the text will indent. To customize the indent amounts, select the layout tab near the desired values in the boxes under indent. Using tabs gives you more control over the placement of text. By default, every time you press the tab key, the insertion point will move half inch to the right. Adding tab stops to the ruler allows you to change the size of the tabs, and Word even allows you to apply more than one tab stop to a single line. The tab selector is located above the vertical ruler on the left. Hover the mouse over the tab selector to see the name of the active tab stop. Left tab, left aligns the text at the tab stop. Center tab, centers the text around the tab stop. Right tab, right aligns the text at the tab stop. Decimal tab, decimal numbers using the decimal point. Bar tab, draws a vertical line on the document. First line indent, inserts the indent marker on the ruler and indents the first line of text in a paragraph. Hanging indent, inserts the hanging indent marker and indents all lines other than the first line. Although bar tab, first line indent, and hanging indent appear on the tab selector, they're not technically tabs. Click the tab selector until the tab stop you want to use appears. Click the location on the horizontal ruler where you want your text to appear, you can add as many tab stops as you want. Place the insertion point in front of the text you want to tab, then press the tab key. The text will jump to the next tab stop. To 
To remove a tab stop, first select all of the text that uses the tab stop. Then click and drag it off of the ruler. You can also use the tab before typing. See this example. I hope you like, thanks for watching the video.